If you are at high school or at university, today I'm going to show you 10 ways you can use ChatGPT to make studying assignment projects way easier. We will go through the new features, study mode, create images, deep research, and, and other features as well. I will give you ready-made prompts you can copy and paste. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, drop a comment about which feature you will be using. To start with, let's have a look at study and learn. In study mode, you can summarize textbooks and notes, create flashcards, and explain text in your own words. This could be some layouts that you could use for your prompts. You can put your the, the goal for your search, give details, explain the output, and so on. For discussion purposes, I'm gonna use create 20 flashcards for on history of on World War One, so I'll go and put it in the search, and then I'll put in my notes as well, and then create a search. And what's going to happen now is it's going to create a series of questions and answers as well. So now this these are the flashcards that will be generated. Now I can also turn this into digital digital format. Would you like me to do so? I'll say yes, and now what will happen is it will create flashcards that I could download and then I could use as well, right? So I could copy that and then I could create flashcards from these ones. I can also go and save that on Google Docs or I can use it in any, uh, any other ways as well. And I could add images to that as well. And then what will happen is it will go ahead and search the web and look for some images that I could add to my flashcards. So here you go. These would be my flashcards that I'll be using for my revision. Next up is create image. So if you, you'll go back, you'll change the format to create image. And now the next feature could be used. Create image could be used to come visualize concepts with custom diagrams, or you could create infographics presentations. The layout will remain the same. You can say what to create, give the topic, the audience for that, describe the format and requirements as well. So here it says, can you create, compare pros and cons of a topic? Can you create an infographic and use color coding as well? For discussion purposes, let's have a look at this prompt. So I'll copy that and I'll go back to my search, put that in, and now I'm looking for images that could be generated uh, for students that could be studying a, a topic on photo, photosynthesis. Think Longer is a feature in ChatGPT which allows you to think and go deeper into a topic as well. For example, if you're writing essays, it will give you a detailed outline, If you, or you can create a study plan for yourself, or you could create practice exams as well. Now, these are the prompts that you could put in, and those are the layouts that you can use. For example, create a thousand word, 1,500 word essay outline in the course of World War One. It has to be, have a thesis, out, topic, sentences, and sources. So it will create an outline for you. You can go ahead and write your essay, or you can create a four week study plan for, my, for your final exams, and you can give the topics as well, or you can create something like that. So for study purposes, if I go and click on that, and I'll go back, change this into uh, search mode, and then I can go ahead and, and do that. Now, the last feature that I'll talk about is deep research. Deep research enables you to con conduct academic research as well. So it can analyze poems, articles, or novels. It can help write research papers with credible sources, or it can translate and explain things in your own words. For today's example, I will use this prompt, analyze the themes and historical context of the Great Gatsby and explain how they connect to the 1920s. So once I've chosen this, I will go to GPT-5, put in the prompt, and this is the response that I'll get. And then I'll have a detailed insight into the topic. I will then turn this into a table and then finally turn this into a mind map for an overview. Now, this is how I will use this for my research. 
And then finally, this is a formula that I have derived from prompt layouts, GDFE, which stands for goal details format and extra. Goal is saying exactly what you want, which could be these things. Details would be the context, subject, topic, audience level, and number of items. Format would be explain how you want it. For example, bullet points, infographic, question and answer, and so on. Extras could be language, the key terms, the one you highlight, uh, color, and so on. So there you have it. In this video, I have showed you ways in which students can use ChatGPT 5 for study purposes. I have showed you study mode, create an image, thinking mode, and finally deep research with a formula for prompt layouts. If you found this video help, helpful, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the future tips. Like this video to support the channel and comment below to tell me which ChatGPT 5 feature you want me to cover next. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.